Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be working with napkins. I get asked for ideas as to how to use napkins all the time so I hope um, you'll enjoy this video. It's part of an art hop hosted by Ina Salisbury. There's six participants including myself and so I'll leave the um, links to the other videos in the hop in the description box below so you know please um, go and work your way through. There's only six of us so it shouldn't take too much time. The brief was to use um, at least three napkins or parts of. So these are the three napkins that um, that I've picked for today's project. I've got um, my floral zebra, I love that napkin, butterflies and this um, one here. I just think um, the colours on these, I just think they, they go really nicely together. Um, and I'm going to alter a box. This is just a box from packaging. Um, so there we go, it's um, not too big and so this is what um, I'm going to use um, for my project today to start preparing my box this has already got um, a matte surface some boxes are quite slick and um, usually need a bit of a sand down um, this one doesn't um, I want to alter the color of the bottom of the box but um, leave the top of it black I really like the design of this um, around the edges um, now I have got some um, chalk paint this is the Pebio deco cream which is their chalk paint um, it doesn't need any preparation it goes on um, really nicely so I've just put some on um, one of these stamping blocks that I'm using as a palette and I'm going to try and be careful with this because I only want the paint to just go to the edges here I don't want it to go um, on the inside of my box I can touch that up with a bit of a, a sharpie pen you know if I do um, make any mistakes um, I don't want to um, paint the bottom of the box either so again I'm just going to be careful and I'm just going to go all the way around um, just just like this. Um, you can see here that that is going to take two coats. I'm using this light linen colour to paint the sides of the box um, just to lighten it um, for when I apply my napkin because if I leave the sides of the box black and apply the napkin it's just going to be too dark underneath whereas this will just brighten everything up for me. Um, so I'm just going to give this a couple of coats and, and let it dry. This is my box. It's taken three coats of paint to get the coverage um, that I wanted, um, but it's nice and neat. I haven't managed to get any on the bottom, which I'm really happy about, and I've managed to keep the top of it really neat as well. Now, I want to use um, the blue side of this napkin um, just as a border to go around the bottom of my, my box like, like this. Um, so I'm just going to go round. Um, I've got enough here of the napkin to do two sides of the box. Now I could um, cut this in half and use the top part here, but just to make sure um, that it's even all the way around, I'm going to use a second um, napkin and I'll just apply that to the other, other two sides like that. Now, of course, napkins, as we all know, are either two or three ply. Um, so I'm just wetting my fingers here um, and just taking the um, plies apart like like this here we go um, because if you don't do that um, your napkin will just come and stuck the glue um, will only attach to the bottom part and you know eventually it will just peel off so it's just really really important that you do actually take um, the layers apart I've taken the plies um, apart that's how my napkin um, looks and I'm going to use a glue stick today to apply the napkin I apologize if you can hear the rain outside it is absolutely tipping it down with rain um, here today so I'm just going to apply some glue and make sure that I get it right to the very edges this is a permanent glue stick this is the scotch brand glue stick. So just make sure that I've got plenty of glue like that that will do um, um, and then I'm just going to have to be really, really careful um, as I apply this. Um, so I'm just going to start off at one end. Here we go. Make sure that I get it right to the very edge and then just smooth it, smooth it over. I've got a bit of an overhang on that left hand edge there, which was what um, I wanted. Um, so I'm just going to press this down and if you use a piece of cling film or deli paper, I'll use deli paper today just because I've got some to hand, just to smooth everything out and just make sure that it's um, attached. Um, it'll stop the glue um, getting to your fingers and you sort of pulling the napkin off. 
can see that I've glued it to the corner as well just by applying a little bit more glue stick and now that this is dry enough to touch I'm just going to flip it over and again just cover um, this side here with glue making sure that I've got some going down into the corners here so that it sticks um, really well there and again concentrating on applying plenty of glue to the edges. And then I'm just going to very, very carefully um, flip the napkin over like this and just press it down onto the other the other side like like so. Um, just you know getting rid of any of those wrinkles as I as I go along and using a piece of deli paper again um, just to press it press it down. Make life easier for myself before I do the other side. I'm just going to trim the napkin off like this. Um, and then I'm going to use a nail file just to get rid of the excess on the tops, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but this will just make it easier because I've got less napkin to deal with. So, so there we go. So that's what I've got um, at the at the moment. I'm just going to take a really old emery board and I'm just going to file along the edges just to get rid of the excess napkin. I'm going really gently here because of course I don't want to um, spoil my box. Um, but there you go, you can just see that um, it's it's coming off really, really nicely. I'm using the smooth side as well as opposed to the rough side um, because the napkin is so thin it, you don't need much pressure um, at all and this will give me a nice straight edge. So bringing in um, napkin number two, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to leave a little tiny bit to the left hand edge that I can wrap around the corner just so that that join um, is really nice and neat. And again, I'm just going to use my handy dandy old glue stick. Before I move on and decorate the lid of my box, I'm just going to give it um, a coat of matte medium. I've already um, done it to two sides and this will just seal um, the napkin um, for me. So I'm using the Galleria matte medium. You could use Mod Podge, although I would water it down um, with a little bit of water first because um, Mod Podge is very, very sticky. I've got um, a very um, soft paintbrush here. Um, which side have I already done? And I'm just going to add um, a smooth layer being really really gentle about this because of course you know I don't want to tear my napkin um, all over the other two sides and this would just make it um, more durable for me. Now I want to start decorating the top of my box and I've pulled out various pieces of um, book pages here in various different nationalities. I've got um, Japanese, I do believe, or Korean it could be, um, that I picked up when I was in the Far East. I've got music paper, um, I've got um, some um, book pages from uh, what Katie did next, um, Italian book pages as well that I would imagine were from my friend Josie. So I'm just going to glue these down. So I'll start off I think by gluing this this one um, in the corner there like that and I'm just going to work on a piece of deli paper and apply the glue to the back um, of the book pages and it's mainly so that I can cover up this um, embossed texture here because of course that will show um, through the napkin and I don't want it to. Now I'm just making sure that I've got plenty of glue around the edges so I'll put this on fast forward um, and you can see how I lay it out. I just want to go right to the edge of the box but, um, but not not over the over the edge.
my papers are now glued down and I've cut one of the images out. There are four um, images on this napkin. Of course, I only need one of them. Uh, but again, I just need to take the napkin um, apart. Um, this is three ply again, um, but it's come apart a lot easier than the um, previous one. And I think I want that to go on there, something like that. And again, I'm just going to use a glue stick. And I just love the fact that you can see all that lovely book paper um, underneath. Um, so again, I'm going to use a glue stick, right, stay put. Um, again, focusing on getting the glue right to the um, edges. And I shall seal it um, again with some matte medium. And as I did before, I can just sand around the edges just to get rid of the um, excess napkin. And you can see it's just coming off really, really easily. Just as I did with the bottom of the box, I am just going to seal this with some matte medium just to protect it. So I shall just go straight over the top. I haven't really got enough um, there. Let me just put some more, some more out. Bring in napkin um, number three. I want to um, make some embellishments out of um, these butterflies here. Um, I've got a piece of recycled cardstock and again I'm just going to apply some glue. I'm working on a piece of deli paper again to catch the um, excess so that I don't mucky up um, my table. Um, and I'll just apply a layer of glue all over um, this piece of card and glue the napkin down. Now you will find it much easier to fussy cut your butterfly if you keep your scissors in your right hand um, in the same place and you just move the butterfly with your left hand. Um, so you're just twisting that paper around and it just makes life so much easier. I've inked around my butterflies using archival ink here and I've also coloured them on the back with just a regular black sharpie marker um, and I've cut two pieces of thin craft wire this must be oh I don't know probably 24 gauge craft wire this is actually floristry um, wire and I'm going to make some antenna um, one is longer than the other that's um, that doesn't matter too much and then I've got my round nose pliers I'm going to take the wire at the end and I am just going to spiral it round just to create um, the antenna if I can actually see what I'm doing here we go <laughs> I told you my eyesight was um, was bad. There we go. Um, and we'll do the same on the other side. So just grab that wire at the end like that. And um, it's just a case of spiralling it um, round like this just to create some antenna. And then I can glue that um, onto the back of my butterflies. Squeezing the um, end of the antenna here just so that I can glue it to the back of my butterfly um, and I shall just glue it down I think um, probably using some Fabri-Tac something like that. So here we go we'll just put a small blob of Fabri-Tac on the back 
Um, I like using this as you know, whoops Stacey I think I've just knocked the camera because it dries really really quickly so we'll just pop that down like that um, and then I can just hold it in place just for a second or two until that glue um, no, it's grabs. okay. The glue is dry on my butterflies, um, so you know the antenna are firmly attached. And I just want to use my Wink of Stella um, glitter glue pen. Um, is this the clear one? Yes, it is. Um, just to add some um, glitter all over my butterfly. Um, we all need a bit of sparkle, don't we? So, um, so here we go. I'm just going to add this all over. Glitter glue would work in much the same way. It's just that you know this dries really, really quickly, um, and I've got it to to hand. Um, and so I'm going to go over both of my butterflies. I don't know whether I shall use one of them or both of them. I haven't decided um, yet. Whilst the ink on my butterflies is um, is drying, I'm just going to set those to one side for a minute, um, and I just want to add some stamping to the outside of the top of my box. I've got um, one of the stamp sets from um, the Tim Holtz um, Entomology set and I'm going to use my clear embossing powder and I've got some bright white um, embossing ink here as well. And I think I'm just going to add some stamping um, vertically and horizontally just depending on which way these stripes go. I don't want too much so I'm just going to dip um, my stamp um, in the embossing ink pad. Let's start off here. I'm just going to add a little touch here and there. Um, let's uh, grab the embossing powder and if I don't like this I can just brush it off. We'll see what it looks like and um, you know I can add more um, later if I want to. So let's just brush off the excess. You see I really like how that looks so I'm just going to um, heat set that with my heat tool. So this is how my box is, um, is looking. I really like the detail around the edge and so I just want to finish it off. I've got some silk flowers here. Um, these are just remnants I picked up from the scrap store um, and I just want to place these around my zebra something like um, this just to add some dimension and detail to the top of the box. Um, so I'm just going to have a fiddle around with these um, and play around with my placement. I think I want a pink one there like that. I've got another pink one. Um, and I'm just going to glue these down with some Fabri-Tac. Then I just want my butterflies, um, something like, um, like this. Um, I want the zebra looking down at this one, one here. So again, I'm just going to glue that on with a little bit of Fabri-Tac. I want it to be dimensional, so I'm adding only adding a little bit of glue in the middle. There we go, something like that. And some glue to this one, this one here. And I think we'll have that one there, like so. Here's my finished decoupage box. It's beautiful. I'm really pleased with the way that this has turned out. Um, so that's what it looks like um, around the outside. Um, and then of course that's what it's like um, on the inside. It smells beautiful as well because of course it's had bath products um, in it. Um, and of course you know you could fill this with all kinds of craft goodies to give away to a crafting friend or a family member. Great as a Christmas gift. Um, you could make note, note cards, all kinds of things to to go with this. Um, so I hope you enjoyed um, this project share today and I hope that you'll go and take a look at all the other videos in the hop as well. If you just scroll down to the description box below you'll find all the links to the other participants. So go and hop away till your heart's content. Enjoy and if you enjoyed my video today as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up because it just lets YouTube know that you like what I'm doing and let me know what you think in the comments below. Take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.